Hello. Um, in this lesson, we are going to um, extend what we've done so far. So over here, we have done um, lists of posts. So this is done. So we can go ahead and grey that out. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on paginating this so we can see uh, all this paginated. But before that, have a look here. We can see uh, true should really be active. Right, so we can um, learn something here. We could learn how to make our own helpers. So if we come into our app folder, we have helpers folder there, and in here we have admin posts and sessions. So every time we generate um, our controllers, it gives us helpers. So helpers are where are places where we could put things to help us in the view. So we have application helper. This um, is where we could put a method to affect all our controllers. So I'm going to add this method and this method um, accepts two or three um, arguments, two named ones. So true the is nil and falsy is defaulted to nil. So I'm going to say if status that you give this method is true, then return whatever you've put as true the, else return falsy. Okay, that's it. Very simple method. All right, so we want to use this method to uh, convert our status. All right, so over here, we're going to get rid of this and paste this here. And instead, we'll pass in our post status here, which is true, um, post publish, which is true or false. And if it's true, we want to say uh, print active. And if it's false, we want to say print pending. So this is a, a good way of seeing how the helper works. So it gives us inverts things around. So true is now active. So here we can see um, it's all active. Okay, so to see if this um see how this really works. So go into your posts table, all right, and find publish. T is for true, so F is for false and then change that and click on here to commit your change and when we reset the screen here we can see pending is changed from active to pending so we know that our helper works all right so now we have our pagination uh, pagination if you go into ruby gem uh, gems we have a gem called kaminari so click on enter on a search and then go into Kaminari. Uh, so this here allows us to create a gem. So click on here to copy into clipboard and go into our gem file outside of development and tests group, uh, paste it here. Uh, you could put a, a hashtag paginator so you can remind yourself in the future that Kaminari is a paginator. All right, so as usual, we say bundle, install, and this will give us um, access to use Kaminari within our project. Now that we have Kaminari, we can um, do a few cleanups first before using it. So I'm listing all our posts, but I want to order it in descending order. So I just simply say order um, by ID uh, descending. So the newest things we create will always be at the very top. So now we say, um, if I come over to here, just to reset the page and quickly see. So it's reset the page. So this is the new, uh, the the last thing we created. So now we can say dot page. So page is a method from Kaminari, and it accepts an argument which is params page. And we'll see how this works. So if we come into our index outside of our uh, each statement at the very bottom, we can say paginate. So paginate is another method from Kaminari. It accepts uh, an argument, which is posts. So it's a collection of all our posts. Uh, so let's um, save this and go into this and reset our page. If we go down to the page, we can see we have our pagination. It's not styled, but that's okay. We use Bootstrap to do that later. So this is a second page. Uh, previous page takes you to the previous page you are run, and we go to last page takes us to the last page. So this is the last page with pending. 
Um, I think the default is 20 um, rows, but we can change that in the future. So that's Kaminari, that's what it does. Um, see what happens if you uh, get rid of, of this and you try to reset the page. You notice you have an error, total pages doesn't work because uh, PageNet method requires it. And even when you come in over to posts directly, it will still have the same error. All right, so what happens if we um, say page and not add the parameter? See what happens when we click on next, it doesn't go to the next page. It's just listing the same um, list. But when we um, add the parameters to it, and then we click on next or two, uh, it gives us the next page and everything works as expected. So you have to remember to, to do that. So ability to paginate is done. So we grey that out. All right, so we could do search um, and then make search work in the next lesson. And um, I'll see you in the next lesson.